Aries ascendant. For you, Mercury, Venus and Sun will hover around your 9th house and 9th house is the house of destiny. It talks about leisure related travels. It talks about you improving your communication skills. It is a good time for people involved in business, export and import. Also, it's a good time to think about some higher education because your fifth lord, Sun, will also be in the ninth house in this month. December is a month which talks about insecurities because of a retrograde Mars in the second house. So you need to be very, very careful when you are speaking out your plans with your family members. You need to bring everyone on the table and discuss before you declare your decision. If you're holistic, if you're inclusive, you will see that December will be a month of great success, opportunities and happiness. Also, if you observe that Jupiter and Saturn are now stable in their respective houses, so it might also mean that there can be some auspicious expenses and that will be something that will make everybody happy. But because Rahu is in your first house, the chance that you might be betrayed is also there. You should also think that greed and overthinking will be a bigger problem during this time. Also, there can be unexpected jealousy. You might also see that there is a rivalry happening between family members over matters related to property, wealth and assets. Be very careful on that part. But otherwise, it's a good time to start a new business. It's a good time to think about uh, expressing your emotions in the right manner and in the right platform. Overall, for Aries Ascendant, it will be a time when wealth will increase. You will see that your you will start thinking about your assets, your your confidence will also increase and you will also change your value system. But this is also the time when you confront your fear and you create more financial securities by maybe insurance and maybe you are trying to correct your mistakes and focusing more on financial gains rather than unnecessary expenses. Taurus Ascendant If you are a Taurus Ascendant or Taurus Moon Sign, there will be a retrograde Mars on your Ascendant for the entire month. And Mercury, which is your second and fifth Lord, will be in the sign of Sagittarius will move in Capricorn on 29th of December and then fall back. And this quick movement of Mercury and something that lasts for a couple of days, that too from your 8th house to 9th house, may give you short-lived hope. So you need to be very practical in this month and you need to be very reasonable in this month. It's not the month where you will display your anger, but it's the time when you can convert your finances, your money that is in your account into assets, into something that is defined for long-term investments, something that helps, your, helps you secure your future. This is the right time to plan your retirement. This is the right time to think about what you're going to do five years down the line. Any random haphazard decision, any knee-jerk reaction, any negative response to situations sooner than expected is going to bring in bad luck in this month but if you are if you have planned your move if you are following the path of dharma if you are taking one step at a time then saturn in the ninth house and jupiter in the 11th house will control your destiny and they will give you more and more opportunities to bring in more changes in career you will see that going to shivalinga temples shiva temples Visiting Shivalinga, maybe a Jyotirlinga, will bring in peace of mind and you will see that these religious pilgrimage will also act as a great karmic positive energy booster, you can say. Maybe you can take healing during this period. Don't feel insecure, but rather work on your insecurities and find a proper solution because solution is on the way. Use your knowledge and help from friends and your network circle. Guidance may come tough. People 
like parents may appear strict but maybe that's what's necessary think about it overall december is a month of opportunities but it is also a month where you have to exercise self control both from the perspective of your speech but also from your food so that it does not impact your health but it, but nevertheless once mercury venus and sun goes in the 8th house you will see that this is also giving you an opportunity to get back money that is blocked from long time it also give you chance of getting in the inheritance that solves lot of problem it also gives you that necessary push to bring in much needed change in your life good for people who want to do research work who are in academics who are in investment banking forensics who are somebody who deals with speculative business and this also gives opportunity for you to grow your career grow your business and start something new think about it it's a month of transformation gemini ascendant gemini will experience mercury transit in sagittarius right in your 7th house so which gives new opportunities for you to to mingle with lot of people to become more and more social and this is also the time when you can meet your life partner maybe marriage can happen maybe you can meet your life partner and if you are in a marriage it shows that your communication will become better you will have a better understanding and all this will improve your married life people who are unmarried people who are students will see their 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 concentration will improve and they will be in a much better position to work on their studies but because there is rahu in your 11th house because there is a retrograde mars in your 12th house assumption of income will lead to unnecessary expenses and if you are a gemini moon you should also know that your ashtam dhaya saturn in the 8th house has not yet ended that means any step that you take you should tread carefully and with careful manipulation and with careful understanding if you have taken all the pros and cons into account then the decisions that you make will turn out to be good because jupiter is stable in the 10th house it gives you opportunity in career it gives you chance of promotion work hard during this time and show your potential but because the mercury will move into the 8th and then it will go back into the 7th there is a chance where it can create unnecessary disturbance between business partner towards the end of end of december it can also create tension between couples because of the in-laws so be very careful and be respectful while you're dealing with elderly people your parents your father in law or mother in law it also talks about fight between brothers over properties and assets so be very careful from that angle also but overall uh, expenses might be on the rise but it will be for good like say for example you are spending money to renovate your house do vastu corrections maybe a family trip it is a good time i think you should enjoy this time enjoy this month of december but also never forget that your task will be to earn more income control your expectations see practically everything not emotionally and uh, also tighten your expense to a, and and cap it otherwise you will see that you might be impulsively buying something and the biggest factor here will be if your moon is afflicted in your chart this will lead you to confusion mental disturbance and anxiety take the name of hanuman chant hanuman chalisa and pray to bhagwan hanuman and that will calm your nerves down and you will feel much more happier because this is a month where you will be social you will meet lot of people you will increase your network circle just that you have to ensure that you're not losing yourself while you are trying to be influenced by the surroundings around you be yourself cancer ascendant for you saturn is continuously watching your ascendant and jupiter will be also watching your ascendant from the 9th house and if you observe venus and mercury will move in your 6th house in the first week of december and soon sun which is your second lord will follow it's a time when you have to focus on your duties and prarabdha and that is where you have to enjoy so life will go as usual business will be as usual in fact things will only improve 
but you will also see that there are circumstances in your life that you never expected will come which will come face your fear during this time repay your debts use loans but very very carefully say you want to buy a home loan or you want to buy a car loan don't go overboard health of family members may trouble you during this time your own health can create some trouble so be very very careful follow diet protocols very carefully and do yoga with ninth house jupiter aspecting first and saturn also aspecting first and both being stable this is the time when you can improve your personality you can utilize this month for new career opportunities restructuring your business delegate the task that you no longer because see if you will do everything then you won't reach anywhere so see what can be delegated delegate those tasks increase your team and bring more people in your organization this is also the time when you have to carefully tackle your finances it should not happen that while delegating or bringing more people you are increasing your operating expense way too much a careful calibration is needed a careful understanding of the circumstances is needed during this time so before taking any decision before jumping into any conclusion carefully analyze everything around you circumstance events people the the country and the kind of and the kind of experience energy experience you get this is a very good time to get energy therapy energy healing chakra healing doing and joining some yoga classes joining some meditation classes focusing on yourself doing surya namaskar and also visiting temple reading books very good time for people who want to learn astrology who want to learn some occult science it's a good time for people to serve serve small animals birds feed them see what you can do holistically see what you can give back to the society in this particular month now because mars is retrograde in your 11th house be very careful not to be too desperate your image might be at risk in the network circle in the surroundings professional setup and for that you will have to just stick to your principles and follow the path of light and truth it is a month of tremendous personality change development chant maha saraswati mantra and also pray to bhagwan narayan for blessings protection and in case you are getting troubled too much you can chant narayan kavach it's a month it's a month where two mahagurus shani and brihaspati is blessing you take the guidance and walk the hard path leo ascendant for you you will experience a mercury transit in your 5th house which is your dhan lord 3rd and 2nd lord in your 5th house and then soon venus will join that particular house venus is your karma lord how venus rules your 3rd and 10th house when karma and dhan both combines in the 5th house it creates a tremendous amount of raj yoga it brings all the purva punya come into picture and you will be suddenly out of your problems during this time if you are stuck and if you cannot find a solution chant gajendra moksha take the name of narayan just take narayan 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 continuously it should be a call of help fifth house is the house where the mantra energy resides and when the second 11th 3rd 10th as well as your lagna goes directly into the fifth house you need to focus your energy towards your productivity your expression and towards spiritual growth in life it's a time when you will seek progress of children people who want to conceive but unable to will see some positive growth and progress at least planets will support you this will also increase productivity it can bring change of career it can give you opportunity to follow your own passion people involved in learning academics will see great boost maybe a promotion maybe a new prospect say you are doing a phd and you are stuck maybe this will these energies will push you in the right direction it's a good time for people involved in stock market speculative business don't try, take a risk market is not right to take a risk but if you are if you can cal calculate it very well and if you are already an expert in that then you will see some positive growth your decisions will 
prove out to be good during this time. Now, if you observe that when all these energy get clustered into the fifth house, what is happening in your tenth house? Now, on one hand, this gives you hope. On the other hand, a retrograde Mars in the tenth house can create desperation. A Rahu in the ninth house can make you believe in false ideas, and that can give you a sense of, I will say, a misguidance. You might see a fog, and you will believe nothing is there, and if you take a leap of faith during this time, a leap of faith will turn out to be negative. But if you are planning, if you are carefully analyzing each and every situation, you are good to go. Saturn placement in the sixth house also means you are here to serve, serve the children, serve the needy, serve the elderly. And you will see that this energy will give you more and more positive direction and you will see the light and the Mercurian, Venusian, and solar energy combined will create the bless, will create, will give you the blessings of Mahalakshmi. Chant Shri Suktam during this time and pray to Ma Mahalakshmi, and Lakshmi, Ma Lakshmi will go, gift you with enormous amount of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. And once you receive, it will be your duty to share it. Virgo ascendant. Your Ascendant Lord Mercury will be in the 4th house and then Venus will join this position. Venus is very important because it rules your 2nd and ninth house. Now when Venus and Mercurian energy combines in the 4th house, it gives you happiness, joy. It gives you pleasure. You will see things are now moving as per your wish. You will see that your productivity will increase. You will like what you are doing. There will be a sense of adjustment. There will be a a sense of happiness and joy in whatever you are doing. Good time to follow your passion. Good time to start learning a musical instrument. It's a good time to express your love. It's a good time to seek more and more motherly guidance. Take the blessing of your mother and seek the path of light. Fourth house also talks about real estate, vehicles, assets. So you can, it shows that you can spend more money in building real estate assets, maybe you can buy a vehicle, properties, people involved in hotel industry, people involved in real estate sector will see great boost in their business and this will act as a much needed blessing. Travel and tourism will also increase during this time. So you will see that more and more, more and more wealth is coming towards you. So start manifesting. Use the power of attraction, law of attraction to bring more wealth towards you. Do some some affirmations every day that you, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am in abundance and, and I am getting the blessings of the universe. With this attitude, you will see that with this change in attitude, you will be able to drive your life in a much better state. And by the time the new year comes and by the time Saturn moves in your sixth house from the fifth house, this will give you great strength control over your expenses and enemies, control over the difficult situation of life and put you into a much higher platform where you can see your life very clearly. This is a very good month for Virgo Ascendant, especially for people who are going to give competitive examinations, people who are involved in creative business, people who are influencers, people who are into Vastu, people who are into interior designing, architecture, all of this will see positive growth because the cluster happening in the fourth house will see the tenth house. Just that ninth house retrograde Mars talks about being you should be very careful when you trust your fate. So don't trust your karma, but don't try your luck during this time. This is not the time when you are testing your luck, but this is the time when you whatever you're doing, you should know that you're doing it for a better reason. Do not invest with assumptions. Any task that you do with assumption will prove to be negative. But if you know all the pros and cons and you know what you're doing, there is no assumptions involved, you will see success during this month of December. Chant Vishnu Sahasranam for this entire month to take the blessings of Bhagwan Narayan. Libra Ascendant For you, Mercury rules your 12th house and 9th house and that Mercury goes in the 3rd house. 
This means that your communication will become more sharper, more influential. And if you are associated with IT, telecom, writing, if you are associated with banking and finance, travel industry, you will see that you will see a proper growth in the month of December. This Mercury will also see a transit of Venus in the third house, which is basically your ascendant lord, which means that you will take initiatives towards matters that is associated with your destiny. You want to take matters in your own hand. But here you need to add the flavor of creativity. Now, because your 11th lord is also in the third house, this means that you will have to take initiatives in order to fulfill your dream. So this is not the time to rest. This is not the transit to relax. This is the transit to get up and act. People involved in creative professionals, acting, advertising, event management will also see positive growth and will also see new opportunities in that area. Overall, this transit is extremely auspicious for Libra Ascendant. But because of the Rahu Ketu being present in your 1 and 7 axis, be very careful so that you are not getting influenced by negative feedback. You should have confidence within yourself and take every feedback constructively. Once you take the constructive feedback, you will see that you will bring in more initiatives that will change your confidence, that will uplift your mood and will give you a better life. It is a positive month. It is a positive transit. Make the best use of it. Just be sure that Saturn is fourth from your ascendant and Jupiter is in the sixth house. You cannot get rid of your duties. So while you are do doing your duty, while you are fulfilling your prarabdha, your destiny, you are allowed to make changes in your life that suits your wish and your need. Wishes are about to come true for you. Scorpio Ascendant Your Ascendant Lord will be in the 7th house and retrograde. Now, when Mars is retrograde in the 7th house, that this can influence your marriage. This can influence matters in your family. Now, combine this with Mercury, Venus and Sun transit in your 2nd house. In the first week of December, Mercury and Venus will enter the 2nd house, the house of Sagittarius. And for Scorpio Ascendant, if you observe, Saturn will be in the 3rd and Jupiter will be in the 5th house. Yes, Jupiter will aspect your ascendant. Your family will come for your rescue. You will see that people around you will help you. But you should not become your own enemy, whom you are trusting, whom you are believing, whom you are thinking as your family is very important during this time. A retrograde Mars can give you negative circumstances and challenges. And this is the time when you will get to know how much you know about yourself, how much you know about the other person and what can you do about this. Saturn in the third house is asking for patience, one step at a time. It's a good time to increase your wealth and assets. It's also a good time to invest money in learning and education. It's a very good time for people who wants to appear for civil services or who wants to take a decision to prepare for civil services, government job, and also for people who want a career in academics. Overall, it's a very positive time for Scorpio Ascendant. The change is here. Just ensure that you are not overly listening to the circumstance and you're not thinking too much. Because if you keep on, uh, if, if you put yourself into a rabbit's hole, then there is a cyclical loop of depression. And this is the time when you may have to take some hard decisions and live a disciplined lifestyle. And you will see that your life is giving you exactly what you wished for. Sagittarius Ascendant. Now for you, December is a beautiful month. Jupiter, which was retrograde, which is your Ascendant Lord, is now direct in your fourth house, making you feel more confident, making you feel homely, making you uh, feel more relaxed and satisfied in life. And what else do you need? On top of that, you will experience Mercury and Venus transit on your Ascendant. Now, Mercury is your 7th and 10th Lord. A career Lord transit in your first house means you are going to work towards yourself. It's a good time to change your personality. It's a good time to bring positive changes in your 
in your day to day activity good time to take initiatives regarding your health good time to take initiatives regarding some serious and important matters of life at least think about it now sun which is also your ninth lord when it goes in the first house it means that luck and destiny will favor you but that does not mean that you will test it this is not the time to make enemies or go into unnecessary battle take un unnecessary loans put yourself into the burden of debt unless it's necessary and required think of long term a retro mars in the 6th house is also the kind of planet that would want you to take care of your loans and debts and now at least from december onwards plan to cut down your debts loans enemies this is also the time where you chant hanuman chalisa you can also chant bajrang baan in case you have some serious trouble with enemies seek for protection chant narayan kavach during this time and sagittarius is going to experience one of the most positive transits right now saturn which was in the second house from last two years causing lot of financial issues has now settled down but it is asking for discipline because the next move will be in your third house which is in january the next month and it means that your action has to be calibrated carefully crafted and your decision should have lot of logic and weight behind otherwise if you just shoot in the blind uh, and in the dark you are just going to miss your target and it will be a utter waste of money energy and emotions it's a very good time for people involved in business career change is inevitable growth in your career is there if you are in a disputed marriage or if your marriage is going through a rough patch this is the time when a proper communication and a good holiday will resolve lot of matters sit down on the table and talk your heart out be very positive and show that positive aura and if you think you are feeling negative or claustrophobic this is the time to take some energy therapy energy healing or at least take the name of narayan and sit down in peace for at least 15 minutes every day with yourself and talk to yourself about your own own achievements and your positive side stay positive and you will see that life will grow more than what you have expected capricorn ascendant your ascendant will experience the powerful position of saturn with the third house jupiter and mercury venus being in the 12th house in the first week and then sun joining in the after the second week of december which means that you might your expenses might increase during this time it's good to buy things but you need to just cap your expense and you need to be more reasonable but this is also the time when you will see that you will end up spending more money not for yourself but for others don't ignore yourself you should always cherish good moments by helping other people loving your family members doing things for them doing things for the people you love but also you have to love yourself you have to focus on your own personality your own needs and when you focus there you will see that this particular month will give you great advantage lot of success and more and most important peace of mind it's a particular month where capricorn natives will feel more relaxed you would know what to do there is guidance jupiter is going to give you that positive emotion but with mercury venus and sun in the 12th house and a retrograde mars in the 5th house you might see that you're spending much more money on your children on your education or maybe something that you always wanted and you are going over the top don't do that when you are doing you should always i'm not saying that stop ex expenses but you will have to be very careful otherwise you will end up draining your financial resources and the biggest factor will play that will play here is rahu in the fourth house here you will have to be very careful while you are giving money to somebody you are giving out loans or you are taking loans it is also the time when you will have to take care of your health especially the lifestyle disorders might increase and so go holistic do yoga pranayam and if you do that proper meditation and maintain that disciplined lifestyle things will be absolutely all right 
But when you're trying to buy assets like car, like house, or when you're at least trying to book, book those assets, be very careful about your financial condition after you have taken that loan, after you have bought those assets. If you, if you know you're going to be okay, and if you have carefully calculated your finances, then it's fine. But if you're assuming things, or if you're taking that loan, or if you're buying an asset, hoping that it will give you something beautiful in the future, then remember, Rahu creates illusion. And a retrograde Mars in the fifth may make you take decisions thinking it will increase your productivity, but it won't. So don't waste your energy. Eat light and take care of the health of your stomach. Acidity and gastrointestinal disturbance can affect a lot of people with Capricorn Ascendant. This is the time when you just pray to Bhagwan Shiva. Chant Shiva Namaskar Mantra or simply chant Om Namah Shivaya at least 5 to 10 minutes every day and sit in meditation for another 10 minutes. This 15 to 20 minutes given to self will not only calm your mind but will also give you a better direction in life. Help the elderly people and people who are elderly will also see that the problems in the knees might increase. Take care of that and a good walk in the nature, a good travel, being close to natural beauty among the trees and under the sky are some of the ways by which you can make your life much more happier. And maybe this is the time that you start thinking about your own wishes and aspirations. Aquarius Ascendant, for you, a lot of planets will move in your 11th house. Now, this is going to be extremely auspicious. Why? Because 11th house is going to be the house of wish fulfillment. And Venus being your Bhagya Lord, 9th Lord, when it goes in the 11th house, and once it combines with the 8th Lord, it shows that a new source of income might come. You might manifest a new business, a new business partner, a new strategy, a new hierarchy. It will increase your marriage. The tensions with the in-laws will ease out. And anything that is associated with inheritance, property related matters will sort during this time. Or at least there will be some initial communication or some understanding of that matter. Aquarius will see a very stable Saturn with a very cautious and slow movement towards your own ascendant. That means this is the time when you will have to carefully analyze what and how you are going to plan the next two and a half years and what are you going to do with those two and a half years because once Saturn comes on your ascendant, then it is going to read your mind like an open book. Well, you are born with Saturn as ascendant and Saturn as the twelfth house. So your consciousness and subconsciousness, both are now under the domain of Saturn. And when Saturn is crosses over the subconscious and reaches the conscious, it gives you a lot of awareness, a lot of understanding. And this month of December will be a preparation for the Saturn transit in Aquarius. This is the time when you will have to take some, some tough measures towards your life. Maybe in case of marriage, you will have to adjust in a lot of ways. Good, but good time to take initiatives to take control of your life. Become more and more independent. But yes, still do your duty, fulfill your responsibilities, and you will see that your wishes and dreams will come true. People who are looking for marriage might find their life partner among the network circle. They are in, maybe a friend, it's a good time to ask a friend for a business partnership. It's a good time to, to follow your passion, maybe sit and reassess your life, how you are going to be in the next five years and what are the steps that you can take now. Because you have to utilize the month of December for the upcoming Saturn transit. Jupiter is in your second house and you have all the resource or at least you will know what you have and that realization of what you are and what you have is enough to give you the light and success and 
you must also learn to become satisfied with what you have now but also have a desire to grow a very careful calibrated i will say a, a helical approach is needed you are satisfied but you still want to grow once you achieve you are satisfied with what you have, what you have achieved for some time but still there is a small attempt to grow out of it and in that way you will see that like a like you like you walk on the stairs you will reach the path of success this is also a good time to take care of your health and you have to take care of your health because saturn is watching your 6th house and now it will move in your 1st house so take care of your health do yoga follow the path of this follow discipline and wake up early in the morning and fix a time of waking up and fix the time of food these two time should be fixed yes you might not feel that you are you can fly during this time it's like you're not in a flight but you are in a train slow and steady wins the race is the mantra for aquarius ascendant pisces ascendant pisces ascendant is blessed by the presence of direct jupiter a stable saturn in the 11th house and now mercury venus and in the second half of december sun will enter your 10th house giving you happiness and prosperity in your career you will be recognized and you will become famous with your efforts so give your all in your career and you will see that name and fame will come this is the time when you can think about an alternative career maybe expansion of career a job change if you need or maybe if you are seeking promotion this is the time when you will see something will move positive on that part jupiter in the first house will aspect your trine and your seventh house so marriage related matters will now solve and love and light will increase in your life this also stabilizes your wishes and now you will also come to terms with things that you can't get and you will be happy with what you can get and that is like the satisfaction of life and that is going to be the theme of the month of december joy peace satisfaction and happiness with a little bit of tarka of growth now here if you observe that sixth house sun sixth lord sun is also going to be with the seventh lord with the fourth lord and with the eighth lord now this is where the trick is sixth lord and eighth lord leo and libra both lords sun and venus will be in the 10th house which means that from the second half you will see some unexpected changes in your roles responsibility designation and there can be a sudden rise and you may have to fulfill that but don't worry because saturn is aspecting your lagna and if you are following the duty and responsibilities of life and with little bit of sacrifice you will get the best of life once saturn decides to give you the results of your karma it is a very positive month especially for people involved in business people involved in uh, who who wants to create a change in their life like you want to follow your passion you want to start some new business who wants to bring in some new elements in life this is the time overall if you see this is a month of creativity this is the month of passion this is the month of positiveness and optimism so be optimistic stay positive and you will see that this mantra month will give you excellent growth and success just take the name of narayan and chant the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya